the time I started thinking about coming back to training, um, I was taking care of my mother 24-7. She had Alzheimer's and osteoporosis and it had somewhat of a stroke. So every time she stood up, she was in danger. And I had to slow down, walk behind her, constantly on guard. So the stress of my life was huge, huge amount of stress, which I took care of, of course, by sitting down on the couch at night and putting things in my mouth that I should not have done. So I was gaining weight, um, losing mobility. I was in pain, joint pain from the extra pounds. Um, and highly stressed. That, that was the biggest part. So in, in seeking out a personal trainer, I was looking for a way to get rid of that stress. And I knew from times before as an athlete that this was a good way to do that. Then once I started moving my body, not only would the stress come, come down, but also would any inclination toward depression around the situation. So I knew moving, I had to move. So that's, uh, that's how I came to it. I chose Move It Be Fit because I met the owner. I was impressed with his sincerity, his warmth, his positive evaluation of, of me as an older client, um, his willingness to work with me at my age, which is, I'm going on 74 right now, so kind of a late life start as far as he was concerned. Of course, he may or may not have known that I've been athletic and participated all my life in athlete, athletic um, pursuits. So I just felt I could trust him. And that's important to me, uh, to be able to trust the people who I'm going to entrust uh, my well-being with. Um, he told me at the time that he would match me up with a personal trainer that I would get along with, and I do. Um, Michael and I work well together. Um, not only do we work out and improve body and mind and spirit all at the same time, but I like him a lot. We do, we're kind of friends, which is good to have, you know, for me, it's good to have um, a friend in a generation that it's even younger than my own children. So it's very positive for me. The first very traditional result is that I went from one to four. So I've lost inches and in girth, um, fat. Um, I've increased muscle and bone. I no longer have to worry about uh, osteoporosis like my mom did. Uh, so my weight, although I lost weight, I also came back just a little because of the muscle and bone that I've, I've added. Um, balance. Um, I had a hard time with balance and that has come back quite a bit. I think I'd probably be falling a lot right now. They do say that the 70s are the falling years. Um, and I'm not. Occasionally yes, but basically balance is better. My spirit is great. You know, I come in here and I work out realize what I can do when I thought I couldn't and go away feeling wonderful. So mood definitely has increased. Confidence, very much so confidence. One doesn't know how to get old and when, when you have the right kind of counsel, particularly from somebody like Michael, um, you realize that you don't have to be the way you thought an old person should be that there is improvement that can be made no matter how old you are, as long as you're willing to put in the work. It seems as if fixing body things affects everything else, mind, body, spirit, uh, relationships, all of those things. So it's a whole system um, impact, not just being able to go up and down the steps faster but respond to relationships in a different way. Um, continue to work in a way that's hopeful and positive. It's a, it's a huge change for me, a huge change. I feel almost like I'm who I was supposed to be <laughs> when I came here to begin with. If someone asked me um, who or why 
they should think about a personal trainer. I would say to them, why not try it? Come with me to a session, uh, see what I do. I'm sure that Michael would give you a, a few exercises to do that would be appropriate for you if you should so choose, but you certainly wouldn't be pressured. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy to have you come with me to meet John and, and Michael and make your own decision.